This is Hogwarts Legacy on the Steam Deck, low settings. We're getting around like, you know, 35 FPS. And this is Hogwarts with frame gen turned on and boom, 72 frames per second. And the latency isn't bad either. And if you have a ROG Ally X or like a Legion Go or anything with Bazite on it, take a look. You know, this is Witcher 3 on Bazite, high settings, 30 FPS. When I turn on frame gen, boom, we're at 50 frames per second. And so this mod is going to be available on Deki Loader soon. But in the meantime, you can manually install it and it's super quick. It takes like two minutes and I'll show you how to do it at the end of this. And so what is happening? How does this work? What's going on? So basically, Jason Derillo. Thank you, Jason Derillo. Jason Derillo. He came up with this plugin. He made this plugin. And so when you jump into a game, like here's Witcher. I have the mod installed. When I turn on AMD FSR 3 frame gen, it doesn't work. See that? We're at the same frames per second. When I go into NVIDIA DLSS frame gen and I switch that on and I back out of the game, now you can see the frame gen working, right? You can see your frames per second double. And so what's happening and how this works is basically, honestly, I don't know. He explained it to me on the phone, Jason did, and I still don't understand it. He's smart. Just, just turn on DLSS and don't worry about it. So what are the limitations to this? Um, here we go, ready? So Ubisoft launchers, like, you know, you wanna play Assassin's Creed or I don't know, like maybe some Battlefield with the EA launcher. It's not gonna work, okay? Because what happens is when you install this mod and you click this patch, which I'll explain on the install part at the end, but you're changing the boot script for the game. So when you press A to play and you have like a launcher that blocks you from jumping straight into the game, the mod just isn't going to go through that and into the game to work. But if you're playing a game, you know, like Witcher 3 or Cyberpunk, you know, that CD Projekt Red launcher, it'll work just fine. He found a way to work around that. It, it just boils down to like updates and compatibility and things like that here down the road. But another thing you need to know is that in order for this to work, the game has to be DX12. So if you're playing an older title that's running on DX11 or Vulcan, um, the frame gen just will not work. So this is more towards like newer games. You know, you've got Black Myth Wukong. It runs amazing on there. You've got Ghost of Tsushima, right? Uh, I haven't tried Dragon's Dogma 2, but that was another game a lot of Steam Deckers wanted to play but couldn't. Now you can try it. Let us know if that does work, because I'm curious. Stalker 2, I tried that one um, and it works, but Stalker 2 is just so poorly optimized that it's still quite a mess to play on with the Steam Deck. Another thing is multiplayer games. You wanna be careful with multiplayer because you are messing with the game files. If a game is quite strict, they will ban you or they'll just prevent you from going inside the game. So I, will, I don't recommend you doing multiplayer games with this mod. But other than that, like feel free to rip it and try it on any game you can. This is such a big deal because I've talked about this a lot. Like, if you're first of all with Bazite, you know, I always dual boot between Windows and Bazite, and I always go to Windows for newer games because of frame gen, right? Now that we have this little mod, we're able to kind of get away with that booting into Windows all the time. And it's cool for the Steam Deckers, for us Steam Deckers out there, because as you know, it's kind of hard to run some of these newer games, you know, like we're pushing it with the Steam Deck. And so this mod will give us that like opportunity and that breath of fresh air to play games at like a smoother playable frame rate. And another thing people are probably curious about is like the latency, because with frame gen, you know, there's a lot of latency. Based off my testing, like Ghost of Tsushima, the latency is more than doable to work with. I have no problem with it whatsoever. You know, especially with these single player titles, it's not like you're freaking trying to rank at the top of the leaderboards. You just want to chill. You want to play your game, get immersed, you know? So the latency is not a big deal. And so, yeah, let's just, let me just show you how to get it set up. Okay, so here's how to install the plugin. Um, it's super simple. It doesn't matter if you have a Steam Deck or a Windows handheld running on Bazite, it's the same process. The first step is to go back in, go to your boot into desktop mode, okay? So once you're in desktop mode, you're gonna download two things. One is going to be Decky Loader. If you have Decky Loader installed already, don't worry about it. Decky Loader is just cool because you can throw in freaking plugins. Like if you want to change your boot animation or, or like 
improve the saturation on your screen. Like you can just mod your handheld, which is so sick. But anyways, you click on the main link, the GitHub, and then if you scroll down, you'll see the download. Just go ahead and download that. And then go into your file manager, double click that download, and then it's gonna have you enter in a password. If you haven't set an admin password before, just go into settings and you can set it, look it up. I don't know how to do it, I forget, but for some reason my keyboard on my Steam Deck isn't working, so I'll just use this keyboard. But you gotta enter in your password. And then update to latest release or install latest release. Click OK. Install finished. Okay, Decky loader is done. And then look up Decky Frame Gen, and you'll see it here. The Jason Derillo Frame Gen. Click on that. Go to the latest, and download the latest Frame Gen. Once that's downloaded, you don't have to do anything. Just go back into game mode. Okay, cool. You're back in the Steam OS mode or like the game mode. Open this up. Go down to the bottom and you'll see your Decky loader working, okay? You will see Decky frame gen, I've already installed it, but what you do is you go into settings, and once you're in here, scroll down to the bottom, turn on developer mode, and then go to developer, install plugin from zip file, go to your downloads, and there is your frame gen zip, install, and you're good. It's done, you're done. Now you have it installed, and if you open it, it'll say install FGMod. You click that, let it sit there until it pops green, and you'll see your games, right? These are all your games that you have installed. And so if I want to play Witcher, I only have to do this once. I find my Witcher and I click patch, okay? And so now the frame gen will work for the Witcher. And a way to check is if you go in your settings on the game, properties, scroll down, See how the launch options has a specific command? Gmod, FGmod, that means it's gonna work. So all you gotta do is just open your game. And once you're in the game, just go into your DLSS frame gen, turn it on, and you're good to go. This is a handheld focused channel. You don't have to sub if you don't want to, but if it's your vibe, it's your vibe. Uh, tell me what I can do to make these videos better. Give Jason Derulo, give Jason Derulo some love. Because this is a blessing. I'm telling you, this is a blessing. This is a dream come true. Thank you, Jason, dude. All right, y'all. Peace.